threading down the right hand side looking for Pushkas and Gary Cahill but he tried to cannon off Pushkas I think and it spun into the box and put wide of the post in the end the onrushing Swift from about four yards as Gary Cahill I don't know if he was trying to win a goal kick off Pushkas or not but it didn't work out well in the end was it Pushkas actually who had the final effort Cherry's are waiting to take this corner over on the far left side which is going to be delivered by Jay Nantony. Lloyd Kelly lurking at the back post, reading for this one and brought everybody back. It goes deep to Gary Cahill, coming in behind, and they're headed down and in! At the back post, Dom Solanke, in the town of his birth, finds the back of the net for the 11th time in the league this season. Cahill gets the assist, and Solanke piled in. The defenders on the line couldn't stop it, knocked it into the roof of the net themselves, but Solanke gets the goal two minutes before half-time. Well, that was excellent, Chris. Set play, one from the training ground. They've worked on that. Ball to the far post. Cahill heads it back perfectly across goal. Dominic's there to get another goal. Great set play. I love it when they come off. And now Jamal Lowe, left side of the penalty area for the Cherries here. Lowe goes for the corner, and Jamal Lowe scores for the third successive time here at Reading, this time in Bournemouth colours. And Bournemouth go flying clear early in the second half here, short of the hour. Their march at the top of the championship looks like it's going to continue. Jamal Lowe, minutes after coming off the bench, finds the bottom corner, his second goal in Cherries colours. It's Reading nil, Bournemouth 2. He did the old through the legs trick, didn't he? He spotted the, the far corner, was wide open. Defenders in front of him, he shot, but he shot through his legs, and the keeper didn't even move. Just seen it again now, just looks up to the far post, neatly done. Two minutes of added time to play, in it comes from Swift. The glancing header goal was a brilliant save by Travers to preserve that clean sheet as the glancing header was aiming for the bottom right corner. Travers took a couple of steps, scrambling across his line and threw himself to preserve that stutter. Yeah, Travers, fantastic save. 